Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've just rubbed my face, which is why I might look very red. Um, I hope you guys are okay. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, playing with all new makeup. I'm looking around and actually, bar the mascara and the eye base, everything is new. I think that's a world record for me. Even brows. I have new brows and they're affordable. Um, but yeah, basically, I just want to play with new makeup. I've had a lot of new makeup just accumulating that I just haven't been playing with because I haven't been on YouTube. I'm sorry, that's another video. I won't get into it. Um, I have missed you guys, but I am here to do a little, a little, a little tut. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting a look from the thumbnail or just getting ready with me, then please keep watching. I've literally had like one sip of Diet Coke and I'm like, boom. <laughs> so I'm first going to go in with this cheeky little spray here. He is from Nip and Fab. It is the Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Essential Mist. And it says that it's hydrating and toning mist. Perfect for, for refreshing and re... Re... Rein, reinvigorating the skin with purified oat extract and dragon's blood now not to be skeptical but are dragons real where have they got the blood from her next i'm gonna go in with this little one he's still in his case this is how much i haven't even played with anything so natasha denona face glow primer it just says that it's a hydrating under base so i'm not necessarily sure if this is a okay here it is it's a primer on there so i take it it's a primer this is bougie i've never seen the um packet for it i've only seen like the packaging it comes in but she is a frosty glass i like this oh Okay, I don't think there's a smell. Is that going to be a lot? Don't mean to flip you off. Oh, oh, okay. He just kind of like melts. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. I think I may do this with my fingers, which makes me feel really weird because I hate touching my skin. This feels very nice on the skin, actually. Oh my God, this feels lovely. It kind of just feels like it's melting like into like jelly almost, but like water jelly. I should take a tiny little bit more just from around my eye area. It feels really nice on the skin. I like this so far. I don't know how I feel with like the texture of it, with how I feel with like it keeping makeup on. So I am just gonna go in with another primer as well. Um, I will try this on another day by itself, but I actually have stuff to do today. You girl's busy so i actually do need my makeup to last so i am going to go in with this primer which is the ole henriksen banana bright face primer this one says it's a vitamin c and banana powered powder inspired pigments and this has been all around youtube for so long um and i was just like oh okay like i'm still like you guys like even though i make videos guys i buy what youtubers tell me to buy that's still my life should I take a tiny bit of this Oh, this smells lovely. It does smell like bananas, but it smells like bananas and something else. But I'm not complaining, it smells nice. I'm sure take this maybe around this part. My forehead's usually okay, but we'll take a tiny bit up there anyway. I've got some breakouts. Don't know where they came from. My skin has been in tip top form. I even got a freaking spot on my earlobe. Who the hell gets that? I don't know. Oh, this is also not new. I don't have any new pore filling primers and you guys know I need to film these bad boys. So this is the NARS. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uno momento. I'm back. This is the NARS Smooth and Protect Primer. Yeah, I don't have any new pore filling primers. So just going to have to use this one as well. But yeah, I've had amazing skin for a little while now. And then the other day I just woke up and I just had like these spots here. And I don't know if I know like people are going to be like, oh, your phone or what have you. I'm usually never on the phone because people don't call me, which I like, I hate being on the phone. I get so awkward, I'm always like, hello. And then I'm just like sat like, oh, I don't really know what else to say to you. So I don't know if it's my phone or if it's like my pillow. So I need to probably wash that as well, which I will do. I've just had my lashes lifted and tinted by the way, and my brows tinted. So if they look like they've got something on them, it's just that. Right, so brow products, I'm super excited. Um, I picked these up from Morphe, and you guys know, when it comes to brows, I tend to stick to the same thing all the time. I tend to use my Mac, 
um, fluid lines, brow, pen, brow pomade things, whatever you want to call them. But these ones are from Morphe, so they're more inexpensive, and I like the colours a little bit more. I've got Maca and Almond. Almond, whichever one you want to say. One's a little bit more darker and one's a bit more lighter. The darker one seems a bit more cool toned and the lighter one seems a little bit more warm. This one is the lighter one, Almond, and this one is Maca. I'm just going to take Maca like toward the end and the tails and then Almond just to like feather it through at the beginning. Like I said, my brows are tinted at the moment so they have a lot of colour to them already but hopefully these can kind of just you know like make it look a little bit neater almost these are really nice they're very creamy sometimes I find especially with like the Anastasia ones they're just a little bit too drying sometimes but these ones feel really nice I like the colour as well, it's not too, too dark. This one's the Maka one. Yeah, the colour's not too dark where it's just like, bitch, what is you doing? And I know my brows always look really dark in comparison to my hair. Oh god, an eyelash or something. I know they always look quite compar like dark in comparison to my hair, but once my foundation and everything's on, they look fine. And also, I naturally have dark brows anyway. Um, so it's quite hard to lighten them and also I don't really like light brows on me I feel like they just kind of like oh like wash me out and kind of like blend into my skin I don't know if that's just me but I just don't suit light brows like whenever I used to have like blonde hair I'd be like please leave a bit of a root so that I can do a dark brow like people like Nikki Tutorials and like Desi Perkins they will have like a lighter brow that looks fit on them doesn't look like that on me I'm just going to blame it down to my dark hair. I really, really like these. These are really nice. Just going to use the concealer we'll use later. I'll tell you about it later. Okay, so I'm going to go in and do my eyes first. This is just the MAC Laying Low Paint Pot. I'm just using a 252 brush from MAC. Just to pat that everywhere. Okay, so the palette I'm going to use is by a little brand. I don't know if you've heard of them. Doll Beauty. Of course you have. This is Peaches and Pop Tarts in the Doll Sweet Treats palette. It looks like this. I've taken the pigments out already, uh, but this is what it looks like. Now, a part of me is really gravitating towards like the purples, but it's sunny outside. And now in the UK and in Manchester, when it's sunny outside, you count your damn blessings and you go out and enjoy it. So I don't want to do purple because it might like come like fall and winter and then the sun might think, oh, but this bitch wants the rain. And I'll be like, no. So I'm going to stick away from them. But I will do another tutorial when autumn properly comes around using those darker ones. However, Raspberry Sunday is really calling my name. Uh, like I said, I have zero clue what I want to do. I'm going to go in with my favourite 221 Look Soft Crease Brush by Zoeva. I'm going to take the shade Custard Tart, which is the yellow. Yellow. And then I'm just going to build this. Right, I'm just going to build this in the crease. Peach Please, which is the one just above it. And I'm just going to buff that through the crease also. In with the original 221 brush and I'm basically doing kind of like pattern motions with the peach please shade and then just kind of going out with the original 221 just to buff it which is how I kind of discovered eyeshadows seem to work best especially kind of more like vibrant ones or neon ones or pastel ones or dark ones any have any of you guys got this palette or any of the other palettes i think they only got one other one haven't they when i was going to get it i was in two minds about which one to get and i think i just preferred this one ever so slightly more if you have the other one let me know what you think of it as well i love to spend money i'm then gonna go in with Choco Orange, which is this one here. And then this is a Zoeva 227 brush. It's just more of a flat one so that I can really kind of pack it 
on the eye. Right, I may go flip the other side of the brush and go in with a touch of cookie, which is the darker brown. I don't want a lot, but I just want something a little bit darker than choco orange, so hopefully I can kind of manipulate both shades. I'll take a bit more of cookie, which is the darker one. Gonna brush that near the lash line area. Don't worry if you get anything like in that middle area. I'm just gonna put a pigment on anyway, so it'll cover it all. When I first started doing spotlight eyes, I would just literally coat the whole lid and then I would just put a glitter or I would carve it out again because it made it a little bit easier. So the pigment I'm gonna take is from Dobby as well and it's in the shade Sherbet. It comes with the palette. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the NYX Pigment Primer. So not the Glitter Primer, the Pigment Primer. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like pinky and goldy. Right, so I'm just going to go in with a MAC 242 brush, my absolute favourite for, like, pigments and glitters and that, with a bit of that NYX glue. Just going to pop it in the middle that we kind of created, and then dab the pigment and swap. This would have looked so fit with that lavender look. I'm gonna redo this. Well, like reuse this palette again in a different tutorial with those darker purples and that lavender. And then this on top. Oh, that would look so pretty. Dab around the corner of that pigment. Just so that it doesn't look like crazy. Right, so I have a couple of samples of the new Urban Decay Foundation. God knows what it's called. Couldn't even tell you. Didn't even write the names down properly. Um, I've got two shades. Because I'm not sure, probably going to go for that one. So this is the shade 41NN. This better be enough for a full face girl. Um, and I'm just going to use this foundation basically. That's what I was going to meant to say. I want to see what it's like before I buy it. I'm just going to spray my brush. This is a Morphe E7 brush. And then buff it out. So apparently it's full of full coverage like the all-nighter but it's not as thick on the skin I mean I don't even mind the full like the thickness of all-nighter I kind of like that it's thick because then I know like it, it's full coverage foundation I feel like when foundations are more runny or inconsistency I'm like are oh, you really full coverage this is actually a beautiful, beautiful coverage foundation. It's very like satin matte. It is not dewy at all. Even with my glowy primers, it is very, very much um, satin matte, I would say. Like, literally. It kind of reminds me of Studio Fix by MAC. I'm gonna go over it with a damp beauty blender. I would definitely say it's more of a medium to buildable coverage. <sighs> I don't know if I'd buy it. I don't like the finish. The finish just looks like chalk to me. I think the all nighter gives me a little bit something else. And I kind of want to add more coverage to my face. Hmm. It's not a bad foundation, don't get me wrong. It's not awful, I don't hate it. It's just not necessarily what I look for in a foundation. I do have the new Fenty one that I wanna try, so I will try that in the next video I film. But this one, I'm not sold on yet. To cream contour, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. This is in the shade 070, Coca. It's got a sponge on the other side. I'm not using the sponge. Oh my God, that is dark. Sophie, what have you done? <gasps> Jesus Christ, okay. Hopefully to God, this blends out very well. I don't know who I went shopping with because this, Lord God, okay. Oh, it's way better when you blend it out, that's okay. I'm just gonna buff out the rest of my face. Yeah, it's super easy to like blend out as well. Sometimes I feel like if products are super easy to blend out, like for cream contour, yeah, it's fine, but because it's, you can use this as a foundation as well. <gasps> Lord, good God, Christ almighty. 
Roll with me. Roll with me. Here, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, sometimes I feel like if you were to use it for foundation, would it mean that you wouldn't get a lot of, a lot of coverage? You know, if it's easy to blend out. Sir, I'm filming a video. I don't know. This is just my thought process a lot of the time. Definitely, most definitely a little bit goes a long way. Concealer, I have a new one, which is the one I used, but it was very bright. But considering how dark this cream contour was that I was kind of unaware of, it might be okay. This is the Rimmel Lasting Matte Soft Matte Concealer. It's in the shade 005 Porcelain. Um, and I'm just going to apply that. Everywhere I usually pop it. Ah, Jesus, I scraped my head off. Just because this concealer is quite a light one. And I do have a little bit of darkness in my under eyes. I'm just going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. You see how it's a bit darker? Just so that that area won't look grey, we're hoping. And then I'm just going to dab this out with my Morphe sponge. I am really excited to kind of be back in the swing of filming because oh god such an itch because I want to do like a like a drugstore look for you guys I want to do a full face of Morphe I need to buy their foundation and then I think I've got everything apart from mascara do Morphe do mascara mascara and lashes I'm going to take this powder, which is a new one for me. It is the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the shade Light. Now, you guys know I obsess over the mineralized powder, which I still have quite a few backups of, but it has been discontinued. So ever since then, I've kind of been on the hunt for a new one. I have found one that I love, the Maybelline Loose Fit Me one. Amazing, obsess over it. But you can, I can only get it in America or order it online. So I'm also still trying to find ones that are way more like accessible. And I'll say I work at MAC, so this one's very accessible. The only reason I don't, I haven't tried this before and I haven't brought it before is because it makes you very matte, very matte. Um, but I just thought I'd kind of give it a go and see what I can kind of do with it. It is the Urban Decay Whiskey Eye Eyeliner. Eyeliner? Eyeliner? I'm just going to put this in my waterline. Then I'm going to actually just quickly go back and go in with the cookie shade with an angled brush and I'm just going to rub this. Are you guys zoomed in? I can't remember. No, sorry, my bad. Apologies, apologies. Just rub this in the lash line just because I don't have a brown liner to use because mine is dried out. Custard tart and kind of join them like i said i don't mind going quite thick and like blown out with this if you don't want to don't worry then i'm gonna go in with the choco orange shade and put that in there too dark brown cookie shade i'm just gonna some of that on my lash line as well. I'm gonna go in and add mascara and lashes. The lashes I'm using are WE Divines. I have used them before, but they're pretty and I like them. So I'm gonna put those on and I will be back. Uno momento. I feel so mad. Oh my god, don't don't judge the girl I feel so mad and I feel so like washed out. I need to get some bronzer on. ASAP. So to bronze with, oh my God, <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them, I promise. I'm gonna go in with the Doll Beauty Gimme Some Dark Bronzer. So this is what it looks like. I'm excited. Just gonna go, whoa, that's a lot of kickback. Did I just dent my tumble brush? Idiot. Oh shit, this is dark. Okay. Have I just got like, I, might, I think I might be colorblind in shops, you know, because how on earth have I got everything just so blasted wrong? 
Oh my god, I'm just so freaking mad. I literally just want to like put like moisturizer on my face right now. I want to go to the gym and I want to sweat so that I get a bit of like a glow or something to me because this is just absurd. Then I'm going to go in with a shimmery bronzer, which I've never used as well, which I'm really excited but really scared because it's so pretty. This is the MAC. It is a limited edition that came out ages ago. Sorry, you guys, but just want to play with it. It's the Mariah Carey My Mimi one. Oh. oh, yes, baby. Talk dirty to me. I can do a brummy accent. For blusher, I basically feel like this is a W E and Morphe makes trouble basically. This is the Morphe Trio blusher in pop of coral, and I'm just gonna take the first one and the second one, so bus and fierce, or fierce bus if you will. Apply those to my cheeks. To cream highlight because God knows I need something like that in my life right now. I'm going to take the NARS Super Radiant Boost Highlighter. I think this is only one shade. Am I shaking? Can you guys see? I always shake so much. It's so bad. Take this on the tip of my Morphe sponge. Oh, so pretty. I literally just want to put this all over my face so that I have some kind of do to me. And then a highlighter, the only one that I haven't used before. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy with this look, but we'll see. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I'm worried it's going to be too pink, so I'm just going to try it on my cupid's bow. Um, oh, that might be okay. Cupid's bow, tip of the nose. In between the brows, above them, Ooh, cheekbones. I don't have a new lip liner, but I've got new lipstick, so that's fine. This lip liner is NYX's um, Nude Truffle. And then this lipstick is Morphe, which is so pretty, in the shade Comet. This is the Morphe, I know, I know, I know you guys are pissed. I know I sound like I work there or I was sponsored by them. I'm not. That You guys know that they came to Liverpool, it's a standalone store, and I got really excited and wrote loads of their stuff because you guys know that because you watched the haul that I did before. Um, so that's what most of my new stuff is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this is the gloss in the shade Flower Crown. There's a chance I've used this before. But I just thought, why not? Okay. Right, this is the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. Motherfucker, this better be dewy. That's all I'm gonna say, Anastasia. I'm looking at you. Drop this in. So then guys, this is the completed look of the full face, playing with new makeup, trying new makeup out. Basically a Morphe and Doll Beauty makeup tutorial. But I will be doing a Morphe look by itself anyway. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this like chat and finding stuff that I like and stuff that I don't. I know that I'm so hit and miss with tutorials but I do try. My battery literally died like as I was doing my outro. You couldn't wait a few minutes to die. Until next time I will see you guys very very soon.